a promotional video made three years ago. This is Lujain Al Hathloul on her own YouTube channel, displaying her passion, her drive for equality. Within months of this being filmed, the young Saudi activist was in jail and she's been there ever since. She hasn't been convicted of anything. Her trial, now in a terror court, only began today. My sister is really not healthy. Her sister, Lena, is now her voice and described her state the last time their parents were allowed to see her. She was on a hunger strike only to be able to see my parents or talk to them. Uh, her body was really shaking and her voice was very low. There are no images from the trial, no details. It is effectively secret. So what's the evidence against her? Well, last month, the Saudi Minister for Foreign Affairs told us we won't find out until the trial is over. It has to do with uh, national security. It has to do with taking funds from foreign powers and giving them to hostile powers. It has to do with trying to recruit people in sensitive position in order to obtain sensitive documents and give them to, to powers hostile to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. But the family says the charge sheet relating to her case makes no specific reference to any of these issues. At the heart of her ordeal are the most horrific allegations of torture and sexual assault. Uh, they would waterboard her, they would flog her, um, um, beat her, um, sexually harass her. This doesn't look good for Saudi Arabia, does it? This is a woman's rights, a female rights activist. Our security officials dispute that in terms of no contact and in terms of hunger strike and in terms of abuse and in terms of this issue was taken very seriously by the leadership of my country and His Majesty and the Crown Prince ordered investigation into the issue, the allegations of abuse or torture. And so on what basis do people say this? We, I, as far as I know, this is not correct. The irony, of course, is that by imprisoning her, the Saudi authorities have simply raised her profile and that of the cause she represents. The country may on the surface be trying to present itself as reformed, a place where women can now drive, where religious police have gone, where tourists are encouraged to come, the host of this year's G20 no less. The reality, say her family, is very different. My message to the international community is that um, I think um, there is more research to do about what Saudi Arabia is really inside of the country and that they have to be aware that now there are two Saudi Arabias, uh, the Saudi Arabia the West Seas and the Saudi Arabia Saudi people live under. The family says it is Lujain's strength and determination which carries them through this. They have no idea how long the trial will last or when they will next see her. Mark Stone, Sky News.